Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on, guys? Welcome to part two with Big Red Luca. So far, we have gotten three solid straight wins with this deck, and I am loving it. This one is super, super fun. Uh, very combo-y, but it also controls the board super well. Like, it just does everything you kind of want it to do, uh, all within a mono-red shell. So uh, if you want to check out the deck list a little bit more in detail, please do, of course, check out the first video. Uh, this is a bit of a sketchy keep, but we'll try it. Um, if you check out that first video, you can kind of see exactly why we have what we have. Uh, and I think that it's very much worth uh, looking at for this deck in particular. Oh, our frame rates are dropping. Hold on. Hold on. Let's uh, let's jump out here. Um, I don't like to... If the frame rates drop like that, it's usually because of uh, opponents. And so I try to, try to dip out. Um, let's go ahead and jump into an actual game one. And hopefully we can... We can get there. Um, I do really like this list, though. This one's very fun. Uh, and we've had, like I said, very good luck in video one, so I'm hoping we can have that same luck again. Uh, sure, we'll keep... Ooh. Again, frame rate, not great. Um, we'll try and stick it out. I, I hate to just keep conceding games, because that just seems bad. I don't like doing that. Um... Well, we got a nice little interactive hand here, so I'm going to keep this. Uh, we do have a Footfall Crater on turn one that we'll probably just go ahead and drop as well uh, to, to make sure that, you know, later in the game, if we need to give something Trample, we can. <clears throat> it's kind of a bit of an insurance policy, but it's a very good one. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Uh, and we'll see what the opponents got going on. All right, and we pass. We'll see what the opponent actually wants to do. This might be the mutate deck as well. Uh, we we finished up last game uh, against a mutate deck, so I would not be surprised if this is just another version of that. Um, let's play our land. Oh, these frame rates are terrible. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm going to pass here. <clears throat> I don't know exactly what they're going to plan to do, but I'd rather, uh, rather leave up the interaction until we can get to something a little bit bigger. Uh, next turn, it'd be great to be able to play out this Bone Crusher Giant. Uh, that way on turn five, we can Luka that. Okay. Well, that's a pretty good one. This works out kind of nicely, though, because we do get to kill this. Uh, and then, of course, on this coming turn, we get to play Bone Crusher Giant. Uh, we will be taking a hit from this, no doubt, uh, but it's okay. Uh, we're going to cycle away this Footfall Crater. We don't need it uh, now that we've got one out, so there's no real reason to keep it. Uh, and right now, we kind of just want to hit a land, uh, to be honest. That's really our biggest thing. Uh, reach, trample, or haste. All very good things. So this is just like Simic Ramp, I'm guessing. This isn't necessarily a Mutate deck. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we do have the opportunity to kill that at some point if we would like. Let's go ahead and cycle this now. Just so we don't have to keep doing the stops and everything. Okay. If they attack in, I think we don't block. Yeah, okay. Well, they didn't anyway. Um... Hmm. I really want to go for this, but I think it's correct. I think it's correct not to. We'll see. Um, excuse me one second, by the way. All right, there we go. All right, let's see what they want to do. That's perfectly fine. Um, again, we're under threat management right now. Uh, until we go big, it's nice to be able to manage these threats very, very efficiently. So I'm not tremendously worried about 
you know, um, taking a little bit of damage, but anything we can do to kind of keep stuff off the board, I think is very helpful. We'll go ahead and do this now again, really just trying to get to our land. Uh, so I will get rid of this raise boar. Um, there we go. Just to make sure that we hit our land so we can Luca. Uh, I do think that that's pretty important here. There we go. I hope they don't have a counter. Um, I don't know why this Simic ramp deck would, but hey, you never know. See what we get. Hope it's good. Um, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> um, it's not bad, uh, but it's a little bit not great at the moment because, again, we kind of were hoping for a creature, but that's what can happen. We know that. That's fine. Yeah, they get to kill this. That makes sense. Um, 100%. Um, but again, all of what they've done, and we're still at 20. We haven't really done much other than kill their stuff. So, like, not super worried about that. That's pretty good, uh, because it does make it a little bit trickier for us to, to do a ton. But oh, I wish we could play both. Mm -mm. Let's go for the amplifier here. Uh, surprisingly, they get to attack in with both things in this rail and with this route, but um, potentially we get to do a heck of a lot on the swing back. All right. Oh, mean, mean, mean. Yep. So that would have happened either way, so that's actually fine. Uh, but that is kind of annoying. Uh, worth noting, we can put something out with Perforos uh, by paying that three uh, and then Luca it in response, which is definitely like part of the cool interaction with this deck is that you can do that. Um, we didn't have enough mana this time around, but that would be kind of nice if we could. Yeah, I mean, we just play this out. Um, kind of just hope that they don't have another one of these. Uh, if they do, we definitely get to just fling in response. So, like, there is at least some, some value there where we can kind of get rid of one of these two. Um, but still a bit tricky. We'll see what we can do. Um, unfortunately, not as clean a win if we do win. Um, but we're definitely on the back foot here. No doubt. Um, this is indestructible, so that's fine. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have to block, don't we? Hmm. This saves us the most damage because uh, we don't take the seven from Kolga as well. And we get rid of that. So we take three and that's it. That pro play. <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think we're just going to lose here because they just have more power than we do. Uh, and unfortunately, we're not getting there. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and concede. Uh, that was an interesting game, though. That was actually pretty fun. All right. That's okay. It's all right. We we lose some. We win some. Everything's fine. Uh, let's jump into game two here, see how we can do. Uh, hopefully, our frame rates will get a little bit stronger in this one as well. Um, do just want to mention again, I, I talked about it in video one. Uh, so if you have already watched that, I do apologize. You're going to hear this twice, but uh, we were very fortunate to have a good good friend of the channel, Proxy the Goat, uh, jump into our Discord, and uh, he's going to be helping moderate a good bit. Uh, man, these frame rates are garbage. Is this just? I hope this isn't just my network, but it very easily could be. We're gonna we're gonna push through. Um, anyway, uh, he's been very kind to agree. He's going to be moderating our Discord essentially. Um, with my, I mean. 
I'm going to be in there still. So like we will still, of course, have, you know, interaction with everybody and hanging out with the community. But it's very nice to have somebody kind of behind the scenes helping us with that. Uh, especially someone like like him he's he's very very good he's someone that we've worked with before and very much appreciate so it's great to uh have him back on board helping us with everything uh if you're interested in joining that discord channel please do uh we certainly would uh love to have you and we've got quite a lot of really awesome people in there so you're more than welcome to join in um not sure what this deck is going to end up being so that's kind of why i'm playing it safe um Just because next turn we have a Luka, I do kind of want to try and get this down. Chances are they probably have a way to kill it. I mean, I would assume. I'm glad that it said they were thinking. That's weird. That's fine. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Kind of doesn't matter to me. Um, okay. I mean, it's just an is it spells deck, it looks like. Uh, with guild gates, though, a little interesting. Not sure why. Um, but that's okay. We'll we'll see what they want to do. Um, one thing I do want to mention also on the front of uh, Discord, though, if you've got any suggestions for the Discord, uh, please feel free to, to let... Uh, Again, let um, let him know in the channel. So we've got some some suggestions, things up for you guys, so that way you can kind of see uh, if you want to uh, if you want to make a suggestion, you certainly can. Yeah, that's fine. Burning through some counters. Um, this is like annoying. Not really the end of the world. That's why I don't really care to bone crusher it. Um, I'd rather you know flame sweep and get rid of this plus something else maybe. Um, my assumption is they're going to have like a Drake or some way to kill it, but that's okay. Um, I think here we will kind of go for it. We're going to target it first. If they counter this, then we'll just flame sweep. All right. They didn't. So let's go ahead and play bone crusher. Surprisingly that lived, uh, but I'm assuming they've got a bounce spell. Uh, I mean, they've already had one. I would not be surprised if they had another. That's actually fine. I don't particularly care about that uh don't have a counter don't have a counter don't have a counter don't have a counter they didn't counter this so i'm kind of hoping they don't have one uh they do have bounce spells so we kind of have to be careful of this but we kind of also just have to go for it so perforous <laughs> second time that's happened but yeah sure uh, so they will get to kill Luca, um, but we get to follow that up with a Storm's Wrath and sweep their board. Hopefully, uh, depends though if they can draw an extra card. So we'll see. Uh, that's annoying. It's not really the end of the world. Sure. Oh wow, pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Storm's Wrath is going to be super good. If they have a two-mana counter, that would be really annoying. All right. That was great. That was really good value. <laughs> uh, that was going to take over the game pretty heavily. Um, okay. Uh, let's just play out Perforous again. It gives all of our creatures haste. It gives us a little bit more to do. So, like, I'm I'm for putting that out there. Sure. That's fine. That doesn't really matter all that much. Yadaro. Um, we're just going to put this out there. This lets us put Yadaro out when we attack with it, which we're going to attack with it. So, like, they may bounce something. This is an odd deck. I don't really know if it's good. Yadaro. Yeah. Unfortunately, that means we didn't get to attack with Perforous, but that's okay. All right. I mean, sure, that felt pretty good. 
that's what the deck's trying to do. It seems like it just has a lot of different ways to do a lot of really good things, so I'm very much enjoying that. Um, we're going to activate this so we can attack with everything, by the way. Uh, we can also just fling, but we'll, we can do that in response. So, like, yeah, there we go. All right. Got another win. That felt pretty good. All right, let's go to our last game. Let's see if we can get one more win with this. I do feel pretty strongly that this deck is very, very good. Uh, it just seems to have a lot of really good pieces. Uh, what I will say, and I, I, I'm I, guessing uh, that against a control deck, uh, this would be a million times worse. Uh, but I think that there are some really easy improvements that you can make to it to, to help it. Uh, at least if you're playing... Especially if you're playing best of three, for instance, you there are some things you could definitely do. Uh, for instance, um, Scorching Dragonfire gives you a little bit more utility against Planeswalkers. Gives you a little bit less in terms of cycling, so like you you could swap that out cleanly for Fire Prophecy. Uh, you would not be able to cycle with the Fire Prophecy ability, but it's still you know it's still good enough. I think that it's worth considering. Um, and so maybe in that instance, you you sacrifice a little bit of that consistency for, um, uh, let's just do this, uh, for uh, some flexibility. I know our frame rates are bad. I'm pushing through it. I think they've been bad every game. Sorry about it. Um, <clears throat> and here, like we're seeing, we've just got, you know, if they play out creatures, it's like, yeah, that's fine. You can, you can play out anything you want. Um, uh yeah let's just do it they probably have like a counter or something but that's fine oh they don't that's surprising they may have just a kill spell too <clears throat> that's fine i don't care about that um i care about creatures more than anything so the rest of these kind of don't matter two to the top that's pretty scary i will say um we've got two amplifiers here uh, but I think the play will be just to leave up these fire prophecies, probably. Um, obviously, we're going to attack in first. That's helpful, too. Um, so we'll attack in first and see what they do. <clears throat> Doesn't look like anything. So the question is, do we risk it for the amplifier? Um, you know what? Sure. Sure. Let's just try. Let's just be as aggressive as possible and let's see how it works out. It may not work, and that's okay. Uh, chances are they probably have something to, to deal with it, like a counter of some kind. This is a very flashy deck. Pun intended. Um, sure. That's fine. It's not good, but it's fine. We have plenty of ways to kill it. This is an interesting Demir flash deck. This isn't one that's like uh, as all in, maybe, is the word I'm looking for. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. It doesn't seem as consistent, though, as the uh, the previous ones we've been against. I'm not blocking, obviously. All right. How strong can we get? Oh, that wasn't all that great, but that's fine. Um... I mean, we just attack in here, for sure. See what they do. We've got double fire prophecy up, so, like, feel pretty okay. Doesn't look like they're going to do anything. Okay. I'm going to declare end step. That way, if they want to flash something out, now's the time. I know we take a little damage and they get to draw a card here, but that's fine. I kind of want them to just spend mana. See what they do. Uh, we're going to put Draggy Seth down. Oh, wow, another Fire Prophecy. Uh, we'll let this resolve... And then we're just going to go ahead and kill this as well. I 
Okay. Uh, we'll put a Storm's Wrath back. Um, if we do run Storm's Wrath out, it's going to be because we're in bad shape, so I'm not really worried about playing a second one. Uh, really, Amplifier is kind of the same way. We don't really need it out. A, a second one, I should say. So I feel pretty good that we're doubled up here on some stuff. Um, so not worried about cycling one away. They do kind of have to play some stuff here. Um just to block, <laughs> uh, if nothing else, or bounce our stuff. I mean, either one of those is very, very good. But um, with Fire Prophecy in hand, as well as just Storm's Wrath, because the reality is this is going to be powerful. Um, so this will outlive a Storm's Wrath no matter what. Uh, I don't think there's anything it can hit other than another amplifier. A Yadaro is very, very good. <laughs> um I mean, we just attack in. They're going to flash some stuff out, I'm sure. But I feel pretty strongly that we've got this. Okay. They're taking two damage to do that. Yeah. Woo. All right. We got there. Uh, man, this deck is sweet. Uh, so, okay. Uh, to preface all of this and give you a little bit of context, when I was first looking at decks to kind of play today, um, I actually found this one yesterday to kind of prep for today, uh, so I had a chance to kind of look through it a little bit, but I was looking for a combo deck. I wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit more, you know, uh, we we played two control decks this week, uh, both of which were very, very good. One, I think, was amazing, um, and so I kind of just wanted to see what we could do uh, with a combo deck. Just try something a little bit different. Uh, and I found this uh, obviously focused around Luca. Luca being very, very good. Um, and I think that this really highlights how powerful Luca is even without Agent of Treachery. Uh, Agent of Treachery obviously being banned now. That was the big, you know, go-getter card with it. But I think now it's like, you no, know, you can still just run big stuff in your deck, uh, in a big red deck, and this is what you get. Uh, and so I'm very happy with this. I, I think it worked out great. Uh, I really, really like this deck. I think it manages the board supremely well uh, in the beginning phases of the turn uh, of the game. And then turn four or five, you start to tip that table where you get into really, really powerful stuff, playing an amplifier, uh, playing a bone crusher giant, and then Luca uh, to to really pull some good stuff out. So I'm very happy with this. Uh, I definitely, definitely recommend trying this one out. It feels really, really solid. <clears throat> Again, we didn't really get to see it up against a true control deck, um, and so I, I think uh, I would I, I think it's safe to say it would suffer a little bit in those matchups. Uh, it certainly is very powerful, but you know, obviously they've got a lot of the counter magic, they've got a lot of the things to kind of get around some of that. This has some tech to deal with it, uh, specifically things like Yadaro, which is just a cycling ability, uh, and so if you get that to four. Obviously, you you get a free eight eight, and it's like okay, well that's that's pretty good. But uh, in general, I think it would suffer. So regardless, I really enjoyed this list. I really hope you guys did too. If you did, like, comment, all the stuff down below. Leave a deck suggestion if you're interested. Uh, and again, uh, if you if you're in our Discord, thank Proxy the Goat because he's really setting stuff up for us and very much enjoying that uh, that that collaboration. So I do appreciate his help. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you very very soon in another gameplay video.